friends, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda, and I'm happy that you're here today. I have an exciting thrift haul for you guys. This weekend, we were camping, and then we were thrifting, and it was amazing. And I found some of the best things I've ever found while thrifting. Actually, I dare say, I have found the number one item I have ever found at any thrift store ever. And it's a set and it's for me and it looks like it's never been worn. You guys, it was meant to be. It's literally my size. I haven't tried it on yet. I haven't tried anything on yet, but like I can tell it's going to be, it's going to be good to go. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Um, we were shopping at Guy's Frenchies which is a very popular maritime thrift establishment. Here in Atlanta, Canada, we do have a few thrift stores to choose from. We do not have Goodwill, totally wish we did, um, but we do have Salvation Army. There's quite a few of those here in Atlanta, Canada, and I think across Canada, maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's like a well-known thrift store um, and it's not for profit so yay um, also we have some faith-based thrift stores called mission thrift there's a few of those maybe across Canada as well I'm really not sure because I live in my own little bubble here <laughs> I'm in New Brunswick and this whole side of Canada we're like we're super Canadian okay like we're like real real like we're the a we're the a I literally say A all the time and I don't know why we get teased for it because I feel like everyone should say A when you say, I know A, like that's, that's just what you say. Like, what else would you say? I know. <laughs> no, you don't end it there. It's I know A or I know, right? Like you have to, you know what I mean? Anyways, whatever. Um, so we have those. And then we also, of course, have Value Village, which if you haven't noticed, I haven't shopped there in a while. I'm not saying I'm never going to shop there again. But Value Village is really no longer a value at all. I think collectively as shoppers, as people with with brains, um, we've realized Value Village is kind of a scam. It's not a value and they're taking your money. They're taking your donations and then they're also taking your money. They're upselling everything they are donated for free and putting gigantic price tags on them that really is totally uncalled for. Um, I've been noticing it for years, which I think any thrifter has noticed it. I think a lot of people blame the resellers because they go in and, and they buy these things and then flip them for a profit on their own website, on eBay, or you know Facebook Marketplace or whatever. But I don't think the resellers are to blame for everything. I think Value Village is to blame because like how much is their CEO getting paid? Like let's see the paychecks of like the head honchos, the executives, okay? Let's see the percentage of profit that Value Village has made over the last two years. I'm sure it's a lot and I'm sure it's a scam, like literally. I probably will still shop there. I don't like saying I'm not gonna do something and then I go do it and then somebody calls me a liar and I'm like, I just changed my mind. I had some free time, I wanted to do it. So mind your business, just mind your business. <laughs> so I'll never say never, Brandy. Never say, never say, never say never. Um, I, I won't, but I know when I shop there again, I'll be doing it differently. I'm I'm not just going to see something in Ariana Grande. I see it, I like it, I want it, I got it. Like I can't, um, can't afford it, okay? Like it will be, uh, find something cute. How much does it cost? Is it actually worth that? Or could I actually buy that brand new for less? Um, because actually, literally a lot of the time you can. So don't be scammed, okay? Don't be scammed. But let me tell you, my guy Guy, my guy Guy, Guy's Frenchies, okay? He knows what's up, okay? Their prices have gone up a little bit over the last 10 years, I would say. Um, but it's still affordable. 
and I like that. So I will for sure continue to shop there for my entire family, even my dog, okay? You can find something for everyone there. And honestly, my favorite thing about Geese Frenchies is a Nike shirt costs the exact same as a Walmart shirt, okay? They don't upsell the brands. And I'm a little bit of a brand whore, okay? Like, we know this. And I like not getting treated that way, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so let me show you what we got, you guys. We got some fines, okay? And I need to do the laundry. I need to get the tags off these things and get them washed so we can start wearing them. But I definitely wanna try some of these things on. We bought them this weekend, but you guys, if you watched any of the vlogs from the camping vlog on, literally my body's been through it lately. Um, I got scratched to shit by my dog, but that is looking fabulous. I still have, of course, the shiner, which is, it's okay. Um, my burn is still here, but it's feeling so much better. And my leg burn, which I caught on fire. Um, <laughs> a flaming hot donut on my leg, sugar on fire on my leg stuck. Great times, that's a scar for life. That's, that's not going away anytime soon. And pus is the word of the week, okay? It's not pretty. But I feel so much better when I put my bra on this morning. I was like, okay okay like this is i mean there's still pain but it's manageable so i feel like i can wear a bra all day today i feel like i don't need to just go down to my room and put cold towels on my back and cry i i yeah i'm a little dramatic but also like it's been a rough week you guys but i'm ready to try some things on i'm feeling better and ready to be cute again so let's start let's jump right into it and right off the bat i'm going to show you something that winnie picked up normally i don't buy um toys there especially plushies for winnie um or for my kids when the boys were little as well um i always did buy stuffies there for my pets my dogs um i've only ever had two in real life here um but they love their stuffies from Frenchies and I love paying a dollar for it. And then when they destroy it five minutes later, it's like, so what? They enjoyed themselves. It was a dollar and I don't feel bad. So normally I don't buy these just because they're really hard to wash for, you know, to be in a regular rotation in my child's bed. You know, I'm just a little bit, maybe, maybe I'm weird like that. Um, but germs you know, bed bugs and lice and shit, you know, like all, uh, why'd I have to say lice? I don't know why. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you understand what I was saying. Um, but somehow she came away with two toys this time. So I'm going to clean this as best I can. This one actually has, um, batteries in it, but we do want to trade the batteries out. It does still work. Um, I think it was under $2 what we paid for this. Anyway, she tried it in the store. The puppy jumps and like barks and stuff. And if you know my daughter, then obviously I had to say yes to this. Um, so I'm gonna clean that up as best I can and hopefully we can show you how it works later in this video. You guys, she picked up this and normally I truly, I say Winnie, no, like I'll buy you a new stuffy when it's time for you to have another stuffy. You guys, I know she doesn't need any more, but I never stopped buying stuffies for Cooper. He was obsessed. When we went to Florida, he brought home 17 new stuffies, okay? When he was younger, not this time. <laughs> Anyways, when she picked this up, I was like, oh my heck, it's literally perfect. And I recognized it. Who knows what this is? It's a Beanie Buddy. Yeah, the big Beanie Babies. Um, it's still got the little tag. This was $1.99. Um, let's take that off. Ooh. And it's like the classic T.Y. She does collect um, the T.Y. Do you say T.Y. or Ty? Like Ty Pennington, move that bus. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I call it both, I think. But this is literally like from when I was a kid. So I'm going to throw this in the washing machine. Hopefully it comes out good. I think it will. I think it will. It was just too cute and I mean, I have a really hard time saying no to Winnie. So to all of my kids, really. Um, 
So it has to be like, I have to be able to justify it and I couldn't with that one. So we bought it. Um, also, we bought two stuffies for my boy who's laying right there. So I don't want to say his name. He's sleeping and he will wake up and be like, what mom? What do you got? You taking me somewhere? You got food? Chicken? Okay. He didn't wake up. Okay, good. <laughs> um, I got him this little kangaroo. Um, he got an elephant in the trailer while we were camping, which lasted five minutes. Its carcass is still here, but there's no longer any stuffing inside of it. Um, Skylar picked this out for himself. This is a Vans shirt. Um, it's a little worn, but honestly, my kids, especially Skylar, ruins clothes overnight. Like, Honestly, every time I buy him something brand new, I think, why did you do that? It's literally going to be lost, ruined, or given to a friend. Um, literally. Um, but this has that nice t-shirt feel. I think he'll really enjoy this. Um, and then he skipped over this one. He didn't realize that he did. Um, but I picked this up for Cooper. Because Skylar was with me, Cooper wasn't. Um, anyways, Vans. Nice little t-shirt. We actually went to two Geese Frenchies over the weekend, one in Moncton and one in Shediac. Anyways, Cooper said, or Skylar said, can I, can I have that? And I was like, I already texted Cooper to see if he wanted it. So um, if Cooper wants it, he can have it. If Skylar wants it and Cooper doesn't want it, then it's his. You guys, I found these shorts and Curtis is at work today and I forgot to show him these all together. I told him that I bought him shorts. I think these are flipping fantastic. Look at these. Look at these, you guys. Columbia. Okay, there's no rips. The button's still there. The fly still works. Like literally, these look like shorts that a mom bought for her teenage son and he wore them like once to some kind of fancy summer event and never wore them again. Um, I'm so excited. They're a size 34. I think they will fit Curtis perfectly. I'm excited about these. Let me tell you how much I spent on everything because with Frenchies, I really, honestly, you never know what you're gonna spend per item because everything is a different price and it really, really depends on who your cashier is to see what they charge you for each item. Because I know sometimes I have Frenchies employees like, oh no, 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 like we all do the same. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't, trust me. Been to many, many, many French hays all over the Maritimes here. And some of y'all are nicer than others. Some of y'all charge a little bit less and some of you charge more. Okay, so we went to the Shediac um, French hays and we spent $27.95. And then we went to the Moncton one and we spent $57.27. So definitely for everything that I got, so worth it. So worth it. Winnie found this adorable dress. It is literally exactly her size right now. And I do try to buy things for the future because she's growing. Um, but this is a size seven, eight. Um, it'll only be able to be worn for the summer that we're in. If it makes it to the end of summer, because it really, it's a little small, but I, I had to say yes, because it's cats. Again, Winnie. Um, this is the size I prefer to buy for her right now. This is a size 10 and this will fit her this summer and likely next summer as well. Look how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. It's got the cute little detail on the back, but this is so buttery guys. And this is the kind of dress that any girl would love to throw on and not think about it. Like it's a one piece outfit, okay? So happy to grab that for her. This is going to be used all summer long. All summer long. Swimming lessons start next week. Skylar's job starts next week. Um, I'm happy for him. I'm excited. Um, and Winnie is gonna be at the same pool that Skylar is at every single day. My family will be logging many hours here at our public pool. Um, so I found this for Winnie, absolutely perfect. It is like a terry cloth uh, material. It's like a towel basically, um, but 
It's a little dress with a hood and little sleeves. It's perfect. It's zip up. And Winnie hates anything that's not a zip up if it's a sweater or a hoodie or whatever because she gets trapped and she needs my help to get sweaters off. Um, she can do it herself, but she always comes out angry um, because like usually she gets frustrated and gets a little bit stuck and then panics. It's just a whole thing. So more zippers for her, the better. You guys, how perfect is this shirt? This is a 10. This is a 10 for my queen. Oh my heck, perfect size, size 10 to 12. And it's in perfect condition. It's a cat with shades, a crown, doodles, a milkshake, like, come on. Perfect for summer, absolutely perfect. That is one of my favorite things that we bought just because I know literally she's gonna wanna wear it so many times. And I probably only paid like a dollar, a dollar 99 for it maybe. $3.20, that's extremely worth it. For me, that's extremely worth it. Um, leggings and Winnie. Okay, Winnie hates jeans. She won't wear them, period. It doesn't matter if they have an elastic waistband, if they're buttoned up, if it's a fly, if it's overalls, nope. Nope, immediately no. She will not wear it. Nope, not at all. Um, and I'm, that's fine. I want her to be comfortable um, so she can wear what she likes. And she likes leggings, so like... Of course I approve, um, but she needs her leggings to be soft, buttery, and not compression. Also, the waist can't be super tight. Um, my girl, she's not, I don't wanna talk about her body because that's not right, um, so don't talk about my child's body either, um, but she's growing, and if something is tighter around her waist, she will kind of pull it down and then it just, it's not right. Like she just shouldn't be doing that. So I try to buy stuff that is like not super tight. You know how some leggings have like a really high rise on them and it's thicker, it's tighter, it's not for Winnie. So anytime I find leggings, I don't care what time of year it is. Like she's probably not gonna wear these all summer um, because she's, it's summer and it's friggin' hot and who wears pants? Not us. Um, anyways, these are basically for the next school year. Um, what size are these anyways? 10 to 12, okay? Um, I think they might be a little bit big on her, but I don't wanna buy things that are too small. And Guy's Frenchies is all sales final, so you can't return anything anyways. Um, but of course, we always give our clothes to like our leftover clothes, we hand them down to friends, family. So nothing really goes to waste here at all. Um, okay, this, I was like, do you want this Winnie? Do you like this Winnie? And she's like, a yeah, Animal Crossing. <laughs> Animal Crossing. This is one of Winnie's games that she loves to play on the Switch. And she actually like connects with friends over her phone, like she'll call her friends and talk to them on like um, FaceTime or whatever on Kids Messenger. And then she will go into their worlds and they can play together from their own houses. Love that. It's literally a play date without planning. It's a play date where I don't have to look after another kid. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's perfect. And Winnie was so happy that we found her that. And then I don't know if this shirt will last because it's a white t-shirt, but come on, come on. So sweet. I would totally wear this, but like, <laughs> it's not my size. Okay. I love it. She loved it. Grab that for her as well. Okay. I'm going to make you guys wait for my favorite thing to the very end. Okay. And I think the rest of the things are all mine. Yay for me. I'm excited, okay? Like, cause I, I actually did really well. Before, when I used to shop at Guy's Frenchies, like a couple years ago, I would just buy anything that I thought might work. I wouldn't try things on ever. And I would get them home and be like, okay, well that's, that's too small. But like, when I lose the weight, it will probably fit me really nice. 
you know, who else has said that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're not alone. Um, and then things that are too big, I think, oh, that's all right. Like, yay me. It's too big for me. And then like two weeks later, you're like, where did that ginormous hoodie go? Because mama needs it. <laughs> Anyways, now I've kind of changed it up. I really, truly don't need any clothes, really. I would always like to have more clothes. I am a content creator full time here on the internet. And I don't know about you, but I get bored of seeing my same outfits, okay? Um, so I just assume everybody feels that way. Of course, the outfit repeating is not a bad thing, even though like, I know the Lizzie McGuire show made us think that outfit repeaters were bad, but they're not. You can wear the same outfit. It's just nice to like have, you know, different ones and that's okay. So, um, I don't need anything anymore. I do try to buy only what I think would actually benefit my wardrobe in some way. So, um, I actually normally do try things on, but because of my burn this time, I was not trying things on at all. I basically wanted to become a nudist because I hated everything that I was wearing because my back was on fire, fire. Um, it's still radiating heat and it's been days, okay? Like, whoo, yes, I'm putting the creams, the aloe vera gel, all that stuff, still burning, okay? Yeah, um, I found these and I'm excited about them. They're biker shorts, you guys. What have I been buying at every store that I've been shopping at basically since we were planning to go to Florida? Biker shorts. And lo and behold, I find these, 2XL, okay? Never heard of the company, Belaf, Belief. Um, oh, it's like Belief, but it's a leaf, neat. Um, anyways, I don't know if that was an intentional thing or not, but I see it. Um, tag's still on, guys. These have never been worn, okay? Amazing. I just checked on my receipt to see how much they cost me. They were $5.50, a great deal. And they have pockets. So I'm gonna try these on in a minute. I'm gonna show you everything first. Um, sometimes they get changed on camera. I'm not doing that today because the way that I have to get dressed, even if I'm wearing a tank top underneath or whatever, it's people will tease me because I make sounds like, Ooh, yeah, it's not cute. So you don't need to see that. Um, <clears throat> these, you guys, another thing that I've been shopping for, that I'm always shopping for, leggings. These are cropped, maybe even a capri. They do have a little bit of an embellishment here. I'm not a fan of the embellishments. I feel like they're a little dated for me. Some people still love them. Um, I just don't love them, you know? I just want it to be a little bit more normal. But even though it has these embellishments, I was like, Miranda, you should you should buy them. You should buy them. And um, they're airy. They're airy. So like these are 38 to $58 leggings or capris. They're in really good condition. They are in an extra large, not a double extra large, so they might not fit me perfectly right now, but I didn't wanna leave them there because I really, I'm kind of falling in love with everything airy. Like everything that I've bought from them, I love and it's very comfortable. And I think I need to go shopping in the store sometime soon. I think I will probably do that sometime soon. Um, this. Another thing with tags, you guys, okay? I think this is just like a Walmart brand, no boundaries. This is an extra large, and it looks just like a little crop moment, which I am, I'm digging the crops a little bit more, like I'm getting out of my comfort zone, and I think it's kind of cute. So we will try this on in a minute. This, I think, is going to be too tight. I think this is going to be too small. But you guys, I have a thing for Disney. Like, <laughs> if it's not in your face enough, then wow, like, can you see? Um, <laughs> I love Disney, and when I saw this shirt, it isn't an extra large, okay? It's from the Disney store. It isn't an XL, so there's hope, okay? 
but it's Winnie, you guys. I love it. I hope it fits. And even if it doesn't fit perfectly, I still think I'll probably wear it, even if it's a little bit tight. It's cutting it close. It's cutting it close. So I don't know for sure, but I'm for sure gonna try. Um, okay, I have one more thing that I have the best thing. This is Time and Tree, okay, I think. Uh, is it a, I know it's an American brand. I think it's from Walmart. Might be at Target, but I think it's Walmart. Um, this is, okay, I thought it was gonna be a crop. It's kind of a short tank, um, but it's like a swing, kind of knitted, but it's light um, tank top. So it's got a little pocket. No one ever puts anything in those pockets. They're just for decorations only. Um, okay, are you ready for this set? You guys, I truly think this is the number one thrifted item I've ever found. And I am so happy it found me. You guys, it's jammies, okay? And it's so soft. It is so soft, you guys. Here's the pants. Can you believe it? Look at my main man. Look at him. So clean. It's white. And it, oh my heck, you guys, I wish you could feel it. I like, can you see the texture of softness? It's a set. It's a set. Okay, here's the pants. You guys, I can't even believe that I did this. I pulled a fantastic outfit. You guys, here's the shirt, the sweater top. Can you believe, like, come on, right? Oh my heck, it is literally a double extra large. There was something sticky on it. Okay, that's weird. Um, A double extra large, Disney, shut up. This is like, even if I had found nothing else and I went thrifting for hours and only found this, mission accomplished, bitch. Like, good job. Let me tell you how much I paid for that because I remember seeing her put it up as a set and I, yes, I remember being like, holy shit, that's a great deal. PJ set slash nightgown right here, $5.75. For this PJ set, you guys, I'm trying this on first. I'm trying it on right now. You guys, it fits perfect. Like it was made for me, the comfort queen. You guys, honestly, I can't stop saying you guys, like I wish you were here. Um, I think that somebody went to Disney World and bought this set for someone in their family and maybe that person in the family was like, ew, I don't like Disney, Mickey Mouse is a loser, I know, how dare she, um, but got rid of it and didn't wear it because, you guys, I mean, tell me I look amazing because I totally do. <laughs> Clearly I was way too excited about that. Um, because I just drove, broke my tripod, <laughs> Drunk. broke my tripod. I broke my tripod. I tried to tape it. Um, it's dead. So now I got to buy a new one again. That's okay. That's okay. But for the rest of this video, enjoy, um, not being on a tripod. So for the rest of this video, I hope you don't mind sitting on the shelf where my microwave is. See, you're all right. You're all right. Um, this is a nice fitting tank. It's not my favorite. I find, I don't know what it is about this kind of neckline. Sometimes I feel cute and sometimes I feel like Brett the Hitman heart, like masculine. Okay. <laughs> That's what I was going for there. Um, maybe it's just because my body shape is so much barrel like that it doesn't offer me very many curves, if you know what I'm saying. Maybe that's all it is, but it's not my fave, but I probably will still wear it. Um, these shorts, perfect. Literally perfect. Um, I'm going to wear these all the time. I can't believe that I found these at Frenchies. 
Um, I pretty much know exactly why whoever bought them didn't keep them. Um, they say they're a 2X, they're definitely not a 2X. I would say an XL and even at an XL, they're very compression-y, so they are like a tighter XL, but um, like they work great. They're perfect and happy to have them for sure. Who else does this every freaking time? Does anyone actually use these? Like no hate if you do, but they're useless for me. Okay, this bra is not the right bra to be wearing with this at all, but here's the little cropped tank kind of situation. I think this is really cute. This right here, bam, it's cute, right? It's the loving every inch of me <laughs> that is, you know, a work in progress and that is okay. I definitely feel the progress taking place though. Like last year, you guys, last year I wore shorts for the first time in like 15 years. And this year I'm wearing crop tops? Who is she? Like, who is she? Like, progress, not perfection, right? And sometimes it takes a really long time to actually see progress. So keep chugging away. If you're at the beginning of your journey, and I'm, I don't know, I'm in the middle probably, or still near the front, I don't know. It's a never ending journey. So really, it doesn't matter where you are, as long as you're not quitting and still working towards loving yourself, being healthy for you, and not letting your addictions, speaking to myself here, <laughs> Not letting my addictions rob me of the life that I was meant to live. As predicted, <laughs> this one is tight. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, it's definitely form fitting. Um, I don't think I would wear this out of the house, but absolutely I would wear this if I happen to lose more weight, I know you really shouldn't buy clothes and say that, but I'll also wear it at home. Like, no, I just feel um, self-conscious, you know, just like <laughs> it's, it's giving Pooh vibes for sure because he is a, a plump fellow. Um, but yeah, it's still cute. I'm still glad I got it. And it's very Miranda and I can't say no to those things. I can't. Especially like, I probably paid less than $5 for this. Just checked my receipt, $4.50. This is stuff that is very hard to find here, especially stuff that's in good condition and also is in an extra large, double extra large, a bigger size. It's a little bit harder to find those clothes, nice, because let's be honest, aren't most of us an extra large? Literally, one of my friends told me the other day that she is a larger and extra large in every store she ever shops in. And I was like, that is what's wrong with the world. If you are a large or an extra large, if you are considered a size extra large, what in the body dysmorphia is this? Because that's wrong. Because this girl, she is tall. And she is slender. And I don't like to talk about other people's bodies because I don't like other people talking about mine. But I literally looked at her and I was like, what? And she's like, yeah, literally every store I go in, I tell the lady, well, can you get me that in an extra large or a large? And the lady's like, no, 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 you don't. You, you're like a medium. And she's like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. And she's not like, what in the freaking heck is this? It's crazy. In every store I shop in, without fail, if I'm shopping in a straight size store, without fail, all the sizes, extra large, double extra large, and large are gone first. Even if you shop online. And I, literally, I was online this morning checking out some deals and I put the filter on because you know there's like so many choices. I put the filter on that said extra large, double extra large, or 2X my options went down from like 326 to 32, okay? Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why clothing stores haven't figured it out that they should be buying more of the size that sells out the quickest. But I don't know. It's weird. And when you're thrifting and you're a plus size queen, then, you know, the ball's not really in your court. You're still allowed to play, but you're going to have to steal that ball. Okay. <laughs> I just pulled on the airy extra large leggings and I'm pleasantly surprised that they fit as well as they do. They are a little bit compression-y, um, but they fit really, really well. I miss my tripod. <laughs> right now you are set up on one of my Disney mugs, the coffee I was drinking right now. Um, of course, here she is. Not going anywhere anytime soon. The more I lose weight, the longer it's gonna get. That's just what happens. Um, these fit really good though, guys. They really do. Um, and I don't love this. I just don't love it. I definitely think I still will wear these, especially during the summer. Um, maybe I'll just wear them when I'm going walking. And then when I come home, throw them in the washer because after you're walking, you can't wear those clothes anymore. You put those in the washing machine, put something else on after your shower. Yeah, I don't love the embellishment. I feel like it's not necessary. I know a lot of people really like those. I really don't. I really don't. I used to have them. Oh, maybe that's why I feel like they're dated because I used, to, let's just crouch down, okay? <laughs> I used to wear these kind of leggings like all the time. I feel like it was like when I was either pregnant with Winnie or right after that. And I think they were super popular at the time. I even had some like mesh ones. And I know most stores still sell those kind of leggings. I just always feel like, no, no thanks. I just don't like the embellishment. I don't even know if that's the word that you would call it. But the detail, I, I, I don't need that. I just want like a cute color, nice pattern, and a nice fitting legging. You don't have to be anything else special. Anyways, but I do think I'll still wear them. And honestly, with the amount that I spent, just having the biker shorts and the Disney jammies, if I were to buy those online, everything that I bought at Frenchies would have cost the same. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I got an amazing set of jammies that I am going to wear the hell out of those. Like, I love them. And the shorts are absolutely perfect. So I feel like I bought those and yet got clothes for my boys, clothes for my husband, a couple toys for my dog, my daughter, clothes. Like, I feel like I did really good. All right, you guys, we got some fresh batteries in this pooch. Let's see what he does. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Gotta turn him on. Uh oh, Jasper's coming. I hope he doesn't be scared of him. Hi, handsome. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's scared. There he goes. Hi, little pup. Oh. <laughs> what do you think, Winnie? He's like squeaking instead of barking, and I kind of like it. So do you got a name for this new puppy? Uh, Husky. Aw, that's a, a good husky name. Puppy. Hi, Husky. He's up. He's pretty cute. Welcome to the family, little guy. <laughs> Could that be for you? Oh, a new toy, buddy. Oh, my sakes, alive. You got a new toy, and it's the same color as you. What a nice toy. What? Oh, he hit a bone. <laughs> he always does that, huh? Jazzy, did you get a new toy? What a lucky boy. Oh, good boy. All right, you guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thanks for coming over today, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.